we're going to go out and we're going to work on patterns. Maybe for some kids, for the youngest kids out there, it might be just going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, maybe a more complex pattern might be from your foot to your thigh to your foot to your thigh. Uh, one of the things we did out there with the kids, we went from the right foot to the right thigh to the left thigh to the left foot and then back around. Um, and then the most complex one that we did out there on the field was we went from the right foot to the left thigh to the right thigh to the left foot and we just went across the body. So you're, you're messing with the angle of the ball and the height of the ball and that kind of stuff. Um, once you use all the surfaces, get creative out there. Um, you can use the outside of your foot. I've seen players use their shoulder. I've seen players catch a ball on their head and that kind of stuff. So get creative with it. Um, there's a whole section here about lifts. Too. And it's just various ways to get the ball off the ground and get started. Um, the youngest kids, if they really want to focus on juggling, have them start it with their hands. But as they get a hang of the lifts, as they get comfortable with that kind of stuff, they should be starting the ball with their feet and getting it up. And then you can get really creative. Get help from your parents. Um, go online and uh, look up various lifts. There's some really cool things out there. And what you do is just go out, pick one that's really cool, and just work on it until you get it. And just keep trying it until you get it and struggle with it and, and get through it. Some of my favorite lifts that I do today, I can recall all the trouble I had before I finally got it. Um, I like to have kids try to catch a ball just to control a ball. See if you can just put your laces right under that. And, and you can see in this photograph here, our, our little player has caught the ball in his foot. He's got his toes up towards his shin a little bit. He's made a little cradle for the ball. We talk about meeting the ball on the second floor and bringing it down to the first floor as it's coming down. But just a nice cushion. Sometimes you talk about maybe catching an egg and that kind of feeling. But uh, to do that, if you're going to catch it on the back of your neck, or you're going to catch it on your forehead, or you're going to catch it on your foot, you have to weight the ball differently. But be creative with it. Um, have a little bit of fun with it. Um, we we'll work on receiving when this juggling and receiving topic as we move on to receiving right now. Uh, you should be able to receive the ball at various surfaces. Um, how quickly can you get the ball on the ground and get it back under control? Um, just simply taking a touch it shouldn't be as good as how quickly you can get it on the ground and under control. You want to get the ball out from your feet. And as coaches, we used to say you got to learn to trap the ball. But now a lot of coaches, they say you have to learn how to receive the ball. Now, receiving the ball is much different. Receiving the ball is getting it out from your feet and preparing it for the next thing you're going to do. Trapping it is putting it dead down in front of you. And that's why we've gotten away from using the word trap. Um, you know, are you, when you're doing this and you're working on receiving, you want to make sure that you're taking two touches. If you play everything away with your first touch, then you're not working on receiving it. So two touches is the way to go. Um, you'll see a wedge. We're going to talk about um, letting the ball hit the ground first and actually start to come back up before we hit it at an angle. We're not going to hit the top of it or the side of it, but we're going to hit where the top and the side come together. And when that happens, you're going to put a little bit of backspin on the ball and it's going to get out from your feet and then it's going to wait for me there. But when you stop that ball, and we talked about trapping it dead under you, you can't be as effective as a player as you can be when you can get it out from your feet and, and make the next choice. So we're going to use the inside of the foot, the outside foot. We're going to go away from pressure, get the ball out from feet, and we want that backspin so it gets out, but then it waits for us.